Seth Miranda here for Adorama TV at Lowbrow Artique, where I get to try out the new Ronin SC, which is the lighter, smaller, more compact version of the Ronin S that we all know. This can handle a four and a half pound payload, which is good for about a mirrorless system with a decent sized lens. It has physical locks on it, which make it super easy to store and pull it out of the bag fast and get it set up, balanced, and ready to go right into production. So my buddy Bishop was around the corner painting a wall. Let's go take a look at what he's doing and then try this thing out. I wanted to show you guys the face tracking feature. The Ronin SC is now on a step ladder and my phone is on top of it. The camera on my phone is tracking my face and moving the Ronin to wherever I'm speaking. So this is great for a one person production crew, raises the level of the video because it's not a stagnant shot on a tripod, but more of a dynamic look. So now that I'm using the lens on my camera phone to track my face, you have to keep that in mind when you're looking at the field of view for the lens that's actually recording you as you shoot the video. But as you can see, it's a lot better than just staying still and follows me in the shot. So while this is a great gimbal in its own right, just like DJI has always produced out there, one of the things that really sets it apart for me is the software and the app interface to my phone right here. So you have a bunch of features on here. We're looking at time lapse and uh, active track and motion time lapse, but what's really cool is also the Force Mobile. So based on the position of my phone, if I activate Force Mobile, as I move my phone, I can move the gimbal. So we're after using the Ronin SC for a little bit, I can say in my opinion it's great for run and gun type shooting or one person production teams that want to add a dynamic look to their content. So it's a little more production value, right? It's not just a stagnant shot on a tripod, especially with the face tracking for vloggers to have like a selfie mode. So it really looks like someone's filming them a little bit more. At this price point, it's pretty fantastic, but there is a pro kit model that adds some accessories like the focus control motor. Uh, if you have any questions about my experience using the Ronin SC, hit me down in the comments below. Be sure to share this video around, hit like, and I'll see you guys next time.